It's not just downed trees, by the way, and power lines crews are worried about, but heavy snow loads causing gas leaks and carbon monoxide poisonings. North Tahoe Fire says 20% of its non emergency calls have been for those issues since the start of the year. Snow is also causing some rooftops to simply give way. CBS 13's Tori Apodaca is getting answers on how to clear your roof safely. Piles of snow blanketing rooftops in the foothills. We got about five feet of snow. This is what the top of Stella Vergara's home in Gold Run looked like before she and her husband got to work clearing it. We just have a shovel. That's all we had is a shovel. One, two, three, <laughs> and a ladder, and just to be safe. But other roofs have turned to rubble. I've been up on a roof trying to even brush a little snow off of it. You'd slip right off. This device is a snow rake. Tahoe Douglas Fire put out this video teaching people how to safely clear a roof. But Nevada County Director of Building George Shurek says this amount of snow is abnormal for people in the lower elevations. It's just not snow up there on the roof lines. There's a lot of ice, so it's not going to, a broom a lot of times just is not going to do the trick now. Instead, hire a professional contractor to do the job. And if you're using gas appliances, clear vents and chimneys. Because that snowpack can, you know, keep some, uh, carbon monoxide in the house and all, as we know that's a very dangerous thing. And it could get even more dangerous with rain and potentially flash flooding in the forecast. That rain will add a lot of weight to the snow until it till it melts it off. Low pitch or flat roofs are most at risk since water and ice will not melt off as quickly. That's why now is the time to clear a path for water to go away from your home. They helped us shovel a little. We helped them. You know, everybody just helps in. It's a really caring community.